Welcome back, duelists. Casual duelist here with another viewer requested build. And today it's surprisingly easy to create a, an OTK FTK. And to do that, we are going to be using the Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. Now, a couple of things before we start this. Um, I got a little bit luckier with the season two, and I now have my Kaiba Corp die. So that's fantastic, but unfortunately, uh, I did end up having to open that one off camera. So no big uh, surprise reveal, no no hype. Um, that's fine. Uh, second, um, this is of course going to be more of a budget. Uh, there are ways to increase this deck, and those ways are playing Pot of Extravagance. Because again, it's, it's a great tool. You don't really need your extra deck for this. Everything that you're going to do is in the main build. And uh, you're going to need an obscure card. Because again, um, when I played Jinzo, I wanted a way to uh, be able to play the Machine Menace from my hand. Uh, without having to rely on my opponent's interactions. So we were using, what was that, uh, uh, Foolish Burial Goods to throw... And again, I don't own the Orcist Trap, so I believe I was using Breakthrough Skill, which was a, div uh, not a Divine Wrath, but it was like an Effect Veiler-esque effect that we were using from our own discard pile, still worked with Jinzo on board, uh, and still me meant that we didn't have to interact with the opponent in order to get the best effects. Uh, and again, I, I when it came to the Mech Lords, we were using uh, uh, Armory Arm to uh, interact with Triskelia without the opponent maybe, m maybe, maybe not having... Uh, synchro plays. Uh, there's a way that we're going to use today because my copies of the other card didn't come in the mail yet. Um, both ways are legit, but again, there's a way to OTK the opponent without interacting with their cards. So let's get you guys a deck profile. I think that's too much hype, but uh, we're going to start with three copies of Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon, arguably the best uh, Blue Eyes ritual monster that was ever created. And again, uh, three. You want to maximize the max. Uh, I'm personally running three copies of Alternative White Dragon. Uh, you guys could also run the original Chaos, you know, Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon. Uh, that'd be fine, too. Uh, the starter deck Kaiba Blue Eyes have appeared again. You're going to want three Blue Eyes. I'm going to be using two copies Bookstone, three copies Candle, three copies Chalice Slime, Two copies, Pencil Plume, and three copies, Talismandra. Uh, we we going all in on incantations, and uh, this is one of the reasons why we're going to be able to OTK and FTK. Uh, we are going to have three copies, Manju of the 10,000 Hands, and that is your only normal summon in the deck. Uh, again, you don't have to normal summon any other card, uh, just this, so it's great. Uh, we are going to use three copies of Advanced Ritual Art. Uh, as well as three copies of Chaos Form Ritual Spell. Uh, both very good. Uh, the card that I have to use, because I don't have the other one with me yet, we are using three copies of Creature Swap. Because just about every time you're going to go to do this, your opponent is going to have a monster, but we want them to have one of our monsters, and I'll explain that. Now, in... Uh, the better build, uh, you definitely want to get She and Spy. It's been released like three times. Uh, Cybernetic Revolution, I think it was OTS 14, and Dark Revelations or Dark Beginnings 2. It was it was one of the early game uh, reprint packs. Uh, Creature Swap will do you. Uh, it's good. We are going to use three copies Melody of Awakening Dragon because amazing. And round it out with three copies of Traden. Again, this is the more budget-tamed version. Of course, you can use more expensive cards that will help you. And for our extra deck, uh, I did pad it with a lot of boss cards, uh, just because I like seeing them. Uh, so, like, uh, Appalosa, not really necessary. Blackluster Soldier, not really necessary, but playable. Uh, Borolo Dragon, Boral Sword Dragon, both very cool, both kind of unnecessary. Cross Sheep can get some play for you guys with the Ritual Effect. Uh, Hippo Shinigan actually has some play to this. IP Mascarena can have some play. Uh, the Nightmares can have some play. Salaman, great, just because I love him. Uh, my Topologic cards, just because they were all legal still. And, you know, Gumblar is not. And Underclock, just for the heck of it. 
So if you guys were here just for the list, thank you guys for watching this. Uh, we are getting dangerously close to that 250 subs, uh, at which point we will have to uh, release this, the special budget deck, uh, which will be fine. Uh, you guys have earned it, uh, but I I'm only going to let you have it once we get there. So uh, I'll tape that just as soon as uh, just as soon as we're ready. So if this helps, maybe sub, tell your friends. You guys have a good day. Everybody else, let's talk over the strategy. So the ba the ba the thing that makes this a uh, a beast of an OTK is the effect of Chaos Max, and that is. Uh, your opponent cannot target this card with card effects, which is fine. Cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects. That's fine. Uh, if this attacks a defense monster, inflict double piercing damage. Uh, so 4k with a zero defense at double damage rate is 8,000, which is your starting hit points. Chaos Max Dragon can effectively OTK on the first turn if properly set up. Um, and again, if you're going to use the other, the the Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon, I believe that uh, when it is Ritual Summoned uh, and it attacks, it's actually able to uh, change the battle positions of the opponent's monsters, and I believe it also inflicts piercing damage. Uh, but it's the the Max Dragon that's going to be the uh, the game winner, which is why we're playing three of it and not three of the other one right now. Um, we are playing the Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon because, again, we are playing the regular White Dragon. Um, this will allow us to, again, reveal the regular Blue Eyes to Special Summon it. And then once per turn, um, we can also target a monster on the opposing side of the field and blow it up with the effect of the Alternative White Dragon. Uh, the Alternative cannot attack that turn. Um, but again, you, you could take care of a, you know, whatever type of monster, you know, defense... Uh, again, kind of unnecessary. Uh, it's just useful in case we need an extra attack. And uh, all three of my Blue Eyes cards, the regular, the alternative, and the Chaos Max, all eight stars and all trade-in targets. So again, we have nine targets for our draw twos. Fantastic. Um, the other thing to mention, and we will uh, in a bit, is that they, well, you know what, well, let's just say it now. Uh, Melody of Awakening Dragon can tutor all three of them. So even more better. Fantastic. Yes. Uh, okay, so with the incantations, we're going to be using them. Uh, we're going to be using all of them. Uh, and we do have a, uh, a choice here. So um, not too much to deal with their uh, actual star levels. Uh, if there would have been more uh, in common we probably would have actually thrown a couple of Xyz monsters into the extra deck. Um, but let's let's just talk about this. So, uh, Bookstone, Reveal Ritual, uh, Special Summon This and One from Deck. Uh, if this is the one summoned, target a Ritual and Discard Pile, add it to hand. Uh, Candle, Reveal Ritual, Special Summon It and Another. If Special Summon from the deck itself, add Ritual from Deck. Uh, Chalice Slime. We're just using to get a uh, free summon because, again, we can ritual, we can use monsters from the hand. So Chalice Slime's always a target for uh, being offered itself. Um, so we're never actually going to summon it. Uh, you could reveal this in your hand, discard a card, and if you do, special summon an incantation from the deck. Uh, during the end phase, you lose 2,500 life points if you don't summon a ritual monster that turn. Uh, you can also send one incantation from your hand or face up on the field to the graveyard. Target a monster your opponent controls, destroy it. That's if you board this card. Um, and again, uh, you, you're not going to, because the only way for you to actually play this character would be with the Advanced Ritual Art, and that needs to be an exact uh, star level exchange. So that's not going to happen. Um, Pencil Plume, reveal a monster, special summon it, and another one. Uh, if special summoned from the deck, uh, target a ritual monster in the graveyard and add it to hand. And of course, Talismandra will be all the same things, except this time grabbing the uh, monster from the deck. So obviously we want more from the deck effects than we do from the discard effects because we want to tutor out and get our game on as fast as possible. Uh, again, Manju, 
Uh, on a normal or flip summon, we can add either the Ritual Monster or the spell from the deck to the hand. Uh, again, this is just going to help us pivot. It's going to help us set up for the uh, right amount of incantation cards. Uh, and again, get us right into the Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. Um, before we move on to the spells, I do want to detour back through the incantations and show you that they are all 0-0. Zero, zero. Why does that matter, guys? Well, you're not going to play that one. Why does it matter that they're all zeros? Yeah, you guessed it. Because we want that on our opponent's side of the field. If we hit it while it's in attack mode, it's a direct attack. If we hit it while it's in defense mode with Chaos Max, it's game. So, that's important. The advanced ritual arts will allow us to immediately just throw Blue Eyes White Dragon from the deck. Counting as an entire one monster ritual. Um, and again, all we need to do is have Chaos Max in our hand. Uh, Chaos Form. Uh, this card can be used to ritual summon any Chaos or Blackluster Soldier ritual monster. You can also, or you must also tribute monsters from the hand and or field. Or, banish Blue Eyes White Dragon or Dark Magician from the graveyard, whose total levels exactly equal the level of the Chaos or Blackluster ritual monster you ritual summon. So again, if you started off with two of those dragons somehow... Uh, feel free to uh, advance writ one. Chaos form banish the same blue eyes that you just used to ritual summon the first to ritual summon the second. Now you've got 8,000 points worth of two dragons. I mean, that's a lot of firepower, guys. Creature swamp or Sheehan's spy. Now, uh, again, it would be Sheehan's spy if my order had arrived. Um, it's a card I didn't think I was ever going to need again. And I'm sitting there looking at Chaos Max, and I'm like, you know, if only I could throw something on my opponent's side of the field. And everything I kept coming up with was just way too slow or way too intricate, or it hurt me. Uh, I thought about Black Garden. I thought about Chew Bones. I thought about uh, even just activating Scapegoat and trying to play like a Scapegoat or a Stray Lamb strategy to where I could then, you know, creature swap it over. But then I remembered the the whole incantations, because I almost did a Drytron build of this, uh, which would have been fantastic, because again, I mean, any two Drytrons would have equaled the 4,000 in order to play for the uh, the Chaos Max Dragon. But again, if I can just play my uh, incantations, and again, there's special summons, I can choose defense, and they have no defense value, then I'm increasing my value by being able to treat this as a double, uh, uh, a double direct... Uh, with the piercing, so uh, creature swap if you don't have the she and spies. She and spies if you have an obscure older card. Uh, the melody of awakening dragon is another one of those great. Uh, it's almost the whole setup things. Uh, discard the card, add up to two dragons with three k plus attack and twenty five hundred or less defense. This applies to just about every blue eyes card out there, but it definitely applies to blue eyes alternative and the chaos max. Uh, which was important when building this. And uh, this allows us to just do uh, a ton of things. Again, if you have the Chaos form in your hand, you can uh, grab for both uh, Blue Eyes on Alternative. You can reveal one, summon the other, use your Ritual, uh, bop the other one to the discard pile. Uh, go ahead, play your Ritual Monster. Now you've got two really cool cards on the field worth 7,000. Uh, and again, uh, it's just fun. Uh, and trade in again. Uh, there's no reason that this isn't live 100% of the time that you draw this. Um, and again, uh, you have nine targets, nine of them. And again, the the only things that you're really going to be interested in using in your extra deck are, are really cross sheep, uh, because if you can summon the ritual monster to a zone that's pointing to, you get to draw two, drop two. Maybe that uh, gets you to your Sheehan Spy just a little bit quicker. Hippo Shinigan uh, can actually give you back uh, a light monster when it is destroyed. Um, of course, you'd have to have it uh, destroyed by Battle of Card Effect and then uh, be able to cycle your cards back. And if you find yourself having to do a grind game, IP Mascarena with the extra uh, ritual material monsters that'll be laying around uh, actually allows you to link build in uh, into around like the nightmares uh, and let you play out of different situations. Again, Al Mirage is just in here because it's adorable and I, I just, I didn't really need an extra deck. I just kind of threw one together for fun for you guys. Um, 
And so that's that. Now, I do seem to have a little bit of time. So, always, not always being asked. I've been asked a couple of times, could we see a test hand? And everybody knows I'm not a big fan of editing my videos. Uh, so everything is just raw footage from the cellular. And uh, let's see if we can't draw a good opening hand real quick. Now, I, I do apologize. I cannot remember who requested this deck in the first place. Uh, I do hope that this is... Uh, lived up to what you uh, wanted to see from the Chaos Max Dragon. Um, it is very fun to play. Uh, this is just one of those, like, it's almost too good to be true. Like, there, there shouldn't be a deck that just does this many cool things. And again, doesn't really cost a whole lot. I mean, the Monjus are common. The, uh, the Chaos Max are only, like, a couple of bucks. Um... Again, I even I even pulled extra copies of that during the Legendary Duelist Season 2. So again, it's not even that out of print. Um, I think the most expensive part is I'm just using fancy blue eyes from the beginning of the game like 19 years ago. And I, I think that's legit the, uh, <laughs> the most expensive part about playing this whole deck. So I'm not sure... Not sure how this is going to turn out. Um, let's get our five. So we've got just about everything right there. Um, so like the first thing I would do, again, if you're going to go, you're probably going second because that's the way to, to OTK. So, okay, we got our candle. Uh, we're going to go with our trade-in. We're going to get rid of the alternative. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pick up a chalice slime. We're going to pick up candle. Um... We're going to be able to add any two we want. Uh, we're going to need to grab the spell from the deck. So you're going to want your candle. Candle needs you to reveal a ritual spell. That's not going to be super helpful. Reveal ritual monster at ritual monster. So maybe that's going to be how we lose this round. Um, just simply because we didn't pull the ritual spell. Um, and we needed it from the deck. And to do that, we needed to be able to reveal a ritual spell. Um, but otherwise, if you just pretend that we had that, let's say this one was the ritual spell, uh, you would, you know, reveal it. You'd be able to, uh, well, no, we'd still be able to summon somebody. I, I don't know why I'm being silly. Uh, Talismandra, reveal, Chalice Slime. Talismandra lets us play one. We're going to grab somebody that lets us get the spell from deck. Which I feel like was Candall and I was just being silly again. So now you got your Candall. Grab you a ritual spell. Decide which one you want. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, we could just go with the advanced ritual art. Shuffle your deck. <sighs> Melody of Awakening. Doesn't matter, we could drop the Chalice Slime. Uh, because again, all we need to do is draw two cards. So you get your Chaos, Max... You draw. You just pick up two of it. it. Again, we already have the game. As long as the opponent didn't set up a back row, because the stack is, again, this is pretty much a gimmick. So okay, you got your you got your dragon now. You play your advanced writ. Target your dragon. Drop a regular blue eyes. And that's, that's your whole ritual. So now you got your Chaos Max. And again, if you had the Sheehan Spy, boom. Send it over there, pick one of them, blast it, and GG's. That's it, guys. Um, again, if you're playing against a... <laughs> again, playing second most of the time. 
The opponent's going to have something. It might be face down. It might be a big monster face up. doesn't matter. You're just going to attack for the one that you uh, place over there because we are actually using Creature Swap. But again, this is only in here until I actually have my Shin Spy copies in hand, at which point I'll be swapping it out. Now, I do hope that you guys all enjoyed this. Um, decks like this are pretty fun to build, um, and they're fun to play. Um, I got some work to do. We got some winners to pick for this next week. Um, so we'll have that video out tomorrow, and uh, I'll see you guys then.